This video will discuss the typical increase in head circumference that occurs during the first year of life. It applies to infants with growth parameters, such as weight, that were appropriate for gestational age at birth. Babies grow at a rapid pace. Their head circumference tends to increase by up to one-third in the first year of life, and by four years of age, most head growth is already complete. During the first three months of life, head circumference increases by about two centimeters per month. Between the third and sixth months, the average increase in head circumference is about one centimeter per month. And between the sixth and twelfth months, it increases by about half a centimeter per month. Monitoring changes in head circumference is vital because appropriate growth is an indicator of health, while conversely, abnormal growth can result from several conditions or problems. Usage of correct technique is paramount when measuring head circumference in infants. Measure head circumference with a flexible but non-stretchable measuring tape. Measure the maximum occipital frontal circumference, that is, from the supraorbital ridge frontally to the external occipital protuberance posteriorly. Repeat the measurement three times and record the largest value. Mark each length measurement on an appropriate growth chart with a dot, opposed to a circle, cross, or another shape. Always compare current measurements with previous ones and assess further if there is a significant deviation. In the event of an abnormal result, it is also important to measure the circumference of each parent's head. Then assess whether or not the child's head circumference aligns with their measurements on their growth chart. And it is vital to never leave the infant unattended at any time. Monitoring the growth of an infant's head with serial measurements of their head circumference and the analysis of their growth curve is integral to ensuring the well-being. Early detection of abnormal growth patterns allows for the timely recognition of an underlying problem or pathology. I hope that you found this video helpful and that it provided you with clarification on some complicated topics.